Now, whether you're making logos, building vector art, or even just doing business cards and stationery inside of Adobe Illustrator, something you're gonna run into from time to time are stray anchor points. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two different methods for getting rid of stray anchor points in your artwork before you send it off to your clients. Welcome back designers, my name's Mike Pickett. I'm a logo and vector designer with nearly 20 years in the design industry. I've done it all, I worked a little bit of freelance, I've done graphic design for companies, and I also ran my own studio for almost 10 years. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, one of the things or one of the lessons that I had to learn early on was cleaning up my artwork before sending it out to the clients. Now, this included getting rid of what are called stray anchor points. So there's two different types of stray anchor points that we're gonna cover in this. The first type are anchor points that are left over just kind of on their own and can really land anywhere on your artboard. They can even land off the artboard for that matter. The other ones are anchor points that end up due to construction. So when you're dealing with like the shape builder and you're connecting say two or three different shapes together, on your path, you might have an anchor point or two left over and you'll wanna get rid of those before sending it off to your client. All right, so let's hop over into Illustrator. And this one's a real quick one. It's not difficult. There's really two different methods that I use on a pretty consistent basis that I'll show you and you'll be off and running. All right, so here we are inside of Adobe Illustrator. Now, this isn't so much two different methods of getting rid of anchor points. It is, but it's also two different types of stray anchor points that we wanna get rid of. So for the first method, and these are kind of hidden you're not gonna see them right up front. I mean, looking at this design, you can't really tell for either of these anchor points we're gonna get rid of that there's really any issue here. But again, this is just kind of that final step that you wanna be checking before you're sending files off to clients, especially logos. I mean, if you've got something that's got, you know, 30 different layers in it and it's, it's artwork that you've designed that's going into a print magazine, chances are the odd stray point here and there aren't gonna make a difference. But when you're dealing with an icon or something small like a logo, those stray points can make issues down the road for other designers and even sometimes with print. So the first method, what we're gonna do, nice and simple, nothing selected right now. I'm gonna go up to select menu. I'm gonna come down to object and we're just gonna click on stray points. Easy. So we didn't see these before. And if you'll notice, there actually, there's no filler stroke to these. Now, you could just select the whole thing and you'll actually see those extra little anchors. But now what you'd have to do is either select each one of them or deselect parts of the, the logo. So it's just easier to go up again. We're going to go select, object, stray points, and then I'm just going to hit the delete key on my keyboard. They're gone. Now, the other type of stray points, when I put this logo together, I used uh, a mix of strokes which then got expanded and then it all got put together using the shape builder tool these crossbars extended out past the sides of the icon and then i kind of clipped them off now if i select this just with the direct selection tool which is a black arrow you don't see any issue if i hold down command you'll see there's extra points in certain spots on the sides here so those are the ones that i want to get rid of now Easy way to do it, I'm gonna hit the A on my keyboard, which of course is my direct selection tool. With the direct selection tool, I can then come in and just hold down shift. And I'm gonna click on those anchors that I wanna get rid of. Once I have them all selected, I'm just gonna come up to the top here. I'm gonna go remove selected anchor points and everything's gone. Might seem like kind of a ridiculous thing, but trust me, you wanna get rid of your stray anchor points before you're saving files out. It's just gonna make things that much more professional when you send your files off to your clients. 